Hi. The, the, the questions were absolutely fantastic and, and far too many interesting questions uh, for, for me to be able to answer or address all of the interesting ones. So the, the four that have been selected for me, I'm glad that they were selected for me and that I didn't have to make that, that, that uh, choice myself. Um, here they are. These are the four that the, the mentors chose. The first question goes like this. I understand that neurotransmitters are distributed throughout our bodies. Does this mean that we have some sort of distributed intelligence and that therefore our mind might also be distributed physically? The implication there being that the mind is distributed in the body beyond the brain. It's not only in the brain. Um, the, the basis for the question is the, um, the uh, remark or the observation that neurotransmitters, that is the chemical messengers in the brain, um, are found not only in the brain, but also in other parts of the body. So let me start with that, with the premise of the question. It is indeed true that um, chemical messengers, uh, the, the, the molecules that act as chemical messengers in the brain are found also in other parts of the body. Um, but this does not, in fact, apply to classical neurotransmitters. It applies to hormones and peptides. Uh, hormones and peptides are chemical messengers in the brain, but they're not, they're not the classical neurotransmitters. Um, for the most part, the, the, the existence of brain communicating uh, chemicals um, it, the, 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 it's mainly peptides and hormones uh, in that class of chemicals which are also found in other parts of the body. So the premise of the question, you know, although there's this minor semantic point uh, that it doesn't apply for the most part to classical neurotransmitters, the, the premise of the question nevertheless remains, you know, which is that these chemical messengers uh, are, are found elsewhere in the body, not only in the brain, like, for example, in the gut. We find many of these peptides in, in the gut. So what does this mean? Does this mean that the mind, that the, that the physical scene of action of the mind is not only the brain, but also the gut? It's not an easy question to answer, uh, but let me try. The fact is, in this sense, yes, I think it's correct to speak of the, the, the mind as being distributed throughout the body, beyond the brain, uh, in this sense that the brain is, the main function of the brain is to represent the state of the body. Uh, in fact, to represent the state of the body in two different aspects. Um, firstly, the interior of the body, to represent the state of our internal bodily economy, um, that is monitoring the state of hormones and peptides and whatnot, and there the continuity between the body chemistries and the brain chemistries is very obvious. Uh, but also to monitor the state of the external surface of our bodies, which is where the main classical sensory modalities are. We think of vision and hearing and so on as being um, representations of the outside world, but of course actually they're representations of the sensory surfaces of our bodies which are responding to the outside world. So to come back to the main point, the, the, the brain represents the state of the body it does this through neurotransmitters. There are two types of neurotransmitters. They're the classical ones, which relate more to the external cortical um, uh, uh, sensory modalities. And then the internal ones, which relate to the internal milieu of the body. And here are the main sources of communication are peptides and hormones. And communication between the body and the brain takes place not only through um, nervous transmission, but also through the cerebrospinal fluid, which is a fluid that flows from the ventricles of the, of the brain through the a canal down the center of the spinal cord, and also, very importantly, through the bloodstream. The blood that circulated, pumped by the heart throughout the body, that very same blood is pumped through the brain, and there its chemical composition is monitored by the brain. And so hormones are communicated in these, in these other circulatory systems. And so very directly what the brain is doing in that aspect is monitoring the state of the body, using the language of the body, which is uh, you know, these, these uh, 
uh, hormonal and, 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 and peptide systems. Does that mean that the mind is distributed throughout the body? There it becomes a bit tricky because uh, in one sense, yes, uh, the, because the, 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 the brain uh, in, is representing the state of the rest of the body and therefore it's the relationship between these two things that constitutes that aspect of mind. Um, but in another sense, no, because it's the brain that's doing the monitoring. The chemicals may be um, varying uh, in the rest of the body, and that the, the, the varying levels of those different uh, chemicals um, will be communicated through the bloodstream. But perhaps you can only speak of those um, chemicals as conveying messages once the messages are picked up, and that happens in the brain. Uh, for the most part. Of course, there are also some messages which are picked up in the spinal cord. So I hope the, the question is not too complicated. I mean, the answer is not too complicated. It has to be because it's a complicated question. But as you can see, it's an extremely interesting question, which gets to something of the essence of um, how we might be led astray um, if we think too much of the brain um, as if it existed in a vacuum, the brain in a vat. Uh, and also, if we think about the brain only in relation to our external sensory organs, uh, a major source of the brain's um, uh, information and the brain's energy, of course, and the very fact that the brain stays alive um, is that it is connected to the rest of the body. Uh, and it is there to serve the needs of the body, first and foremost. So the question leads us, it reminds us to... Um, to uh, conceive of the brain as, as this, as a bodily organ, as part of a bigger system um, of um, an organism which is driven by um, evolutionary biological forces. That is to say, it's driven by the, 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 um, the imperative to survive and reproduce.